make it a part of your day, young Muslim and old Muslim and male Muslim and female Muslim, in a time where sin has become pervasive and invasive in it as if it make a lot of istighfar. Because from the punishment of Allah Rabbul Izza, me and you were given two safeties, two things that we could hide behind and the, keep the adab of Allah away. Allah Rabbul Izza says, وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ لِيُعَذِّبَهُمْ وَأَنْتَ فِيهِمْ The first, the Prophet, so long as the, Allah said, so long as he is amidst you, I will not punish you. So the Rasul died and left. His Sunnah is with us, but the Rasul went. The second one, and Allah will not punish them so long as they seek forgiveness. So the only salvation you have now is perpetual istighfar. The Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, I say more than a hundred istighfar a day and some say in a gathering. Busy yourselves with istighfar. Astaghfirullah al -Azim. Oh Allah forgive me. Oh Allah forgive. Astaghfirullah al Perpetual make it a habit. And wallahi, Allah will open all the doors of goodness upon you. In the time of Hassan al-Basri, he was a alim, zahid, taqiyun, naqi, lillahi, al-wali, min al-shaytani, bari, you know, a righteous man. And uh, he had students, so he was busy with them. And a man came and he said, Sheikh, I have problems. So he goes, well, what's your problem? So he goes, there's no rain in our land. Drought has come. Give me something to do. So he said, increase the saying of istighfar. So he thanked him and went. The other man came. Sheikh, poverty has struck the, us. There's no income, no money. So he says, say istighfar, increase the saying of istighfar. And his students are watching. Third person came, Sheikh, I can't have children. So increase the saying of istighfar. So you know, the, the students look at the Sheikh, you know, every person came with whatever sickness, you have one medication, just injecting everyone the same thing. What's, what's going on? So the Sheikh said, it's from the Quran. فَقُلْتُ اسْتَغْفِرُوا رَبَّكُمْ إِنَّهُ كَانَ غَفَّارًا يُرْسِلِ السَّمَاءَ عَلَيْكُمْ مِدْرَارًا وَيُمْدِدْكُمْ بِأَمْوَالٍ وَبَنِينَ وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ جَنَّاتٍ وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ أَنْهَارًا Make istighfar of Allah. Allah will send the sky down with helpful rain for you. He will bestow you with wealth and progeny and make your gardens grow and around it springs of water will come all for the saying of istighfar and the returning to Allah Rabbul Izza with seeking forgiveness of Allah Rabbul Izza. Make istighfar Muslims. Amidst the, the scholars of the past, one of the famous ones is Ahmad ibn Hanbal. You know, he is, they call him the Imam of Ahlul Sunnah. And such a giant of an Imam, some of the people in his madhab say that no one served the religion after Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu more than Ahmad ibn Hanbal. Because just in the days of Mihna, you know, for years he took imprisonment and house arrest, but he would not budge on his stance on the deen. So his fame and repute extended across the Muslim land. Everyone knew him, but there was no selfies in those days, you know. You know, you couldn't, you couldn't share a picture. So no one knew, few people around him and his students and the Ahlul Ilm knew what the Sheikh looked like. Most people hadn't seen him, but they had heard about him. So Imam Ahmad went on a, on a, on a travel from his city to another city. And when he reached that city, night befell him, he was in a masjid. And he was trying to sleep in the masjid because in those days there was no hotels and things. So the, the guard came and he said, get out, 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 out of the masjid. So he said, listen, I'm a traveler. I don't have any way to go. I will just be here till tomorrow and then I will be on my way. So he said, no, 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 get, get out. So the Sheikh went and sat outside the door. Can you imagine? This was a man, you know, who when he used to walk, hundreds would be walking with him and they would kiss his head and hold his books. Hey, Imam Ahmed was Imam Ahmed. Now he's sitting at the, at the door of the masjid. So he looks at him and goes, didn't I tell you to go? He goes, I'm outside. He goes, no, get out. So he said, listen, it's just... So he said he dragged, he held the Imam from his leg and dragged him onto the street. Imam Ahmed. So, and the Sheikh, Subhanallah, you know. And when he's, he's landed in the middle of the road, across the road was a baker. You know, the one that makes bread. So the baker saw him and he goes, listen, you know, he sees in him signs of piety and, and taqwa. So he goes, come here and sleep in, in my bakery. Like, you know, and I, I am I'm making the dough all night and fixing the bread because for people will come at Fajr to buy. But you sleep here as I'm, as I'm doing my work. So the Imam thanked him and went and laid down and, but he's watching him that every time he makes the dough, he says, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. And as he's making, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. So all night he saw this man, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. So 
he went to him, he goes, for how long have you been on this practice? For how long have you been practicing this? So he said, for a long time now. So he said, for how long? He said, for a long time. So he goes, have you seen any benefits? Because no one can be so consistent and perpetual on dhikr and on istighfar and Allah not grant him some favor. So he goes, I've realized that whatever dua I ask, Allah grants me, except for one dua that he hasn't accepted. So he said, what dua was this? He said, I pray that Ya Rab, let me see Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal and so far I haven't seen him. So the Shaykh said, he goes, Subhanallah, he dragged me by my feet to come into your bakery. Simply cause, imagine out of my city into his house, out of his house when I was refusing, dragged me by my feet so that I could come and answer to your dua. فَقُلْتُ اسْتَغْفِرُوا رَبَّكُمْ إِنَّهُ كَانَ غَفَّارًا يُرْسِلِ السَّمَاءَ عَلَيْكُمْ مِدْرَارًا وَيُمْدِدْكُمْ بِأَمْوَالٍ وَبَنِينَ وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ جَنَّاتٍ وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ أَنْهَارًا My dear brothers, turn to Allah Rabbul Izzah. Wallahi, I don't say this as a nice to say, but all of your, un the problems to all your answers is Allah Rabbul Izzah. Your refuge from every difficulty is Allah Rabbul Izzah. Turn to him with a, Wallahi, turn once to Allah Rabbul Izzah. And you will find your Lord more merciful and more accommodating and more accepting than the kindest of the kind of this world.